Hey guys, Dark with Cyclone FPV, and I have about 15 minutes to do this next video. I'm doing it for some folks. I promised them that I would do a video on conformal coating or corrosion X, that is, and so I'm getting to it right now. Uh, just understand that um, I'm kind of in a hurry because I want to go see my son. He just passed his driving test, and I'm so excited to go see him and congratulate him. And so um, let me show you what I've got in front of me here. Uh, so what you've got on the table here is you've got a DJI air unit, which somebody asked me about how to, how to uh, better uh, waterproof it. Um, I've got a brand new HGLRC uh, F4 flight controller right here. Uh, I've got a Tadix camera. Now, I'll explain to you about the camera here. Uh, the camera is brand new. This entire setup came out of this box right here, okay? The only problem is, is that um, the camera itself is going to get very blurry because this is going to be a power test, not a, uh, a test of how clear this is underwater because it's not going to be. And so um, I've kind of already prepared it for that because what will happen is uh, the inside will get a little wet. Now it's not going to short out. It's not going to stop working, but the image is going to get uh, blurry. Um, but I think the idea here is not, can you take your drone underwater and see clearly with it? Uh, the idea is uh, how, how hard is it to uh, coat these things properly? How long does it take? And then are they really uh, fully submergible? So here's what we're going to do. First thing we're going to do is uh, you're going to solder your equipment first. Okay. The most important thing here, and sorry, I, everything's all kind of greasy and wet and crap around here because I've been spilling this water all over the damn place. Uh, one thing to keep in mind about um, Corrosion X is it is like a WD-40, but it is it will stain though. So if you get it on concrete or your clothes or something, it will stain it. So please do not use anything that you're worried about. Now I've sprayed some in this box here because then what happens is it doesn't start splashing when I spray it again. So here's what we're gonna do. You basically just take your equipment. Now for the air unit, I would suggest, let me take these antennas off. Uh, you will want to spray everything, and you will want to do it after you're done soldering, okay? I hate trying to take these antennas off sometimes, especially when my hands are, are slippery. So hold on, let me see if I can get something. Just got to pop these off. All right, and again, these are brand new. Everything on here is brand new, and I can show you. Here's the box for this. Uh, I was going to use uh, this uh, Polar Cam, but I decided not to. But here's the box that came with the whole unit right there. And then here is the ESC that goes with that flat controller, which is brand new. And I'm getting ready to do a build for someone who is going to have it waterproof. So I figured I'd do this. Okay. So first thing you want to do is take your air unit um, and just remove, uh, remove the screws here, the top one. And if you want to get into it uh, even more in depth, you can take out the smaller screws too inside um, and separate the whole thing. Okay. So, but what I'm going to do is what I'm going to tell you is, at the very least, you can pop this ribbon or you can just leave it like it is. I'll pop the ribbon off and I will put this in here and I will spray it just like that. Uh, it's flying everywhere, right? Okay. So just get it in there and make sure to get in every crevice, like the USB port and all that. Get in the, get in the, uh, get in the uh, plug there. Just get it everywhere that you can. All right. And uh, if you can and you have the time, take the board off and you can really get under there. But there's some thermal paste under there. So... When you're done with that, you need to let it just kind of sit for a minute or two. It doesn't take much longer than that. Put the other piece in, spray it as well, just like that, okay? And again, just kind of get it all in there as best as you can. And then again, let it sit for a minute or two. All right, for the cameras, really not much you can do. I will just take the back of it and just dip it, all right, just like that. Don't do much more than that, and I would pat that one dry, as dry as you can. What you don't want is you don't want it to get into the front of the camera where the lens is. Uh, if you do, you, you have to take everything apart and dry it off, and that's kind of a pain, and that's where I tend to find myself most of the time uh, is in that situation. I don't want to wipe it off. I just want to pat it off. And here, I'm talking to you guys, so I was wiping the board off, and I didn't want to do that. I just want to pat it off. All right, so there's that, um, and I'm placing all these on a towel. You can kind of see the towel corner right here. I'm just placing them on a towel so that they can kind of dry, uh, they won't dry. It'll take a couple days for them to actually truly dry, most likely. Um, but when you're flying, the air will help. All right, now once you're done and you've soldered your entire board, go ahead and spray it, everything. The XT30 plugs, everything, right? And that's why I would tell you, use something that where you can kind of let the WD-40 collect in like this tray, and I'll put a cover back on this bin. And they, they, um, I don't know if I said WD-40 or Corrosion X, sorry, but spray the Corrosion X in because then you could basically just soak it in there and it, it'll be good, all right? So we're gonna let that, that's in there. You got it in every crevice, USB and everything. There you go. Lay that out, let that dry. And then all you need to do on here is you could just get these cables. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I just tend to soak them anyway, just like that, okay? And I'll let that dry. Now, I'm done with the Corrosion X. So I'm gonna take this nasty stuff and put it 
and get the cover for this container because I do not want it to spill anywhere. It is disgusting. It doesn't smell bad. I used to say it smells bad, but it doesn't. It's just gross, all right? And it's really nasty. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and assemble our, our stuff here. So let's go ahead and take the DJI air unit first. And let's get that back on just like that. Let's go ahead and put the screws back in. You can wipe down the outer shell if you want. I promise you, no matter how much you wipe it down, you will still find stuff dripping on you later on. But in either case, there you go. Now put your cable on. Okay, and um, I was asked earlier, the weight difference with this is 0.1 to 0.2 uh, grams. It is so insignificant, okay? So please, I, uh, somebody was asking about conformal coating, uh, and I can tell you that um, this board weighs, uh, let's see, did we just weigh it before we started? I don't remember. Uh, I weighed the board uh, before I soldered on it, okay? And then I, I sprayed it with this uh, before I saw it on just so I could get a difference. And it was five point, I have it written down here. It was 5.66 uh, grams. Uh, and then it was 5.84 uh, grams. And it was still drying. You got to understand it's still dripping off of there, okay? So anyways, so just point being is it's a very insignificant amount of weight. So if anybody is trying to compare that to conformal coating, um, this is much better sure I got this right uh, no and I don't I actually have this on correctly I realize I forgot what I did yeah so let me redo this please I apologize I'm in a hurry and I'm just not thinking straight I don't think I'm gonna get this to stick back in there properly which is fine, I'm not worried about it because we know water can penetrate it. It's not gonna be a problem. Um, the idea is to, as a matter of fact, I don't even need to put the back on there to be honest with you because the idea is to show you guys that it is waterproof uh, or that it's, it, is, it is, yeah, so that it functions and it's not gonna short out. But um, I'm gonna try to put this on just for the hell of it if I can. Um, screwdriver here. Try to at least fasten it in so I'm not just like having crap all over the place. I'm gonna have to get this to go much closer. So let me see if I can. And if not, I may just leave it loose just so you guys can see it actually. You know what, I'll just leave it loose, okay? Because I, I had pulled that cable by accident and I don't really, my hands are too slippery right now to sit there and try to get it right. So, especially if I can show you with the case off that it works, that's even more. Um, so anyway, so when it comes to the weight, uh, I would say, I, I think you're gonna have 0.1 grams, to be honest with you, once it all dries off and all the excess liquid comes off and you'll get that to happen on your first flight most likely. Um, okay, so there's that. Uh, here's our board, okay? And so what we're gonna do is the first thing we wanna do is we wanna test and make sure that without any water, that everything is functioning properly, okay? Now, uh, so let's go ahead and power this on. Uh, we have our board, you can see it on. And we should have, uh, our light should turn green here. And I know I don't have antennas on here, so please don't tell me, where's your antennas for your DJI unit? I don't care right now, okay? So don't lecture me, please because I don't need somebody to try to act super smart or be a know-it-all. Okay, 
Here we go. Let's turn this on. I'm gonna turn the goggles on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna verify that I have picture. And what I'm gonna tell you is that I'm gonna take my cell phone and hold that up there. And let me see if I can get the program started. Uh, there it is. And I'm gonna add my phone to the list of phones so that you can see. Uh, it should pop up here in just a second, I hope. Uh, well, it's not seeing it. I guess I'm not on the same network or something. I don't know. That sucks. Um, but anyways, let me see. Okay, I do have a picture. Uh, I will try to show you if you could see in here um, <laughs> as best as you can. Uh, that's going to be almost impossible, but I will try to show you that there is an uh, image. There. Okay, you see the blue, right? So I'm going to move the camera, and you will see that as I move it, uh, I don't have my smart controller, but you can see now it's aimed at me. And, and now, so I'm moving the camera. So just trust me, we have a picture. So everything's working, okay? We got green lights, everything's good. So the next test is gonna be, let's just drop it in the water, right? I wish I could get my phone to do that because then I could show you the image itself, but for some reason it's not popping up. Um, let's do this. Okay, well, screw it. I'm not gonna sit here and worry about that. So here we go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just take this and we're gonna drop this in. So let's go ahead and get it ready. We're gonna drop everything in here, just like that. Okay, make sure we still have our green light on, and we do. We're gonna lower everything else in here, just like this. Okay. I'm gonna to try to balance this here, if possible. There, okay, we are 100% submerged underwater. Okay, you have your flight controller working. You have your um, Vista working or your air unit working, okay? <laughs> yeah, we're underwater, 100%. Um, see? And everything's under there. So uh, now the question is for the image. So let me just make sure that we're still broadcasting an image. And again, I don't have my smart controller here to show you the image, uh, how it looks. I can tell you that it will be blurry because it's underwater, but Let's just see. And we still have image. Uh, and it is, it is basically the image of the camera pointing straight down. Um, but if I could just show you, you'll see. You know that if you don't have image, uh, it goes to a black screen. So I will try to move the camera and change to see if I can, and see if I can get you to notice a color change on there. And I wish I had my stuff hooked up, but I don't. So. I apologize, but here, I'm gonna cover it. See, I've got my finger over the camera, then I let go, okay? So, uh, anyways, you'll have to trust me on that part, but I think the point being is, is uh, how long does it take to waterproof it? Well, there you go, you just saw. It's very quick. This video is 13 minutes long. I said I need to leave it 15 minutes. I can tell you right now, this air unit is not hot at all. Uh, temperature is perfect. Uh, we are broadcasting our signal, and um, that is all from Corrosion X. I'm gonna turn my uh, stuff off now anyway here let me let me just turn my there we go and you can see here if you look um, you'll just have to trust me that it is underwater because it is uh, it is it is I'll just shake it here okay so everything is submerged underwater and I think that's the best test guys I mean like I, I don't know I mean like that to me is that you want you wanted to know what it was it weighs it'll add about 0.1 gram a tenth of a gram of weight which is nothing, and we all know that. We can all agree that that is absolutely nothing. And it will take all of five minutes to uh, get your stuff ready, okay? So uh, there you go, it's pretty cool. Uh, we can take it out. Okay, it's all dripping. Okay, put it back in. And there you go. And it's all underwater. Okay, and everything still works. And you can tell because when the camera fails on the air unit, the air unit will not be green. All right, so there you go. And the light's blinking because I keep moving this thing, so it's like recording that the um, accelerometer is going crazy when it's actually just me. Okay, so uh, let me switch now gears here and do that. Guys, I hope that helps you. Um, I was hoping to put this video together for you guys. I said I'd have to go in 15 minutes. I'm getting ready to go in 15 minutes. I do want to say this to everybody. God bless. Thank you for your support. God bless for everybody. And, and, and thanks for helping me with my family and supporting me through all this. 
Today, my son got his license yesterday. He turned 16, and it has been phenomenal that uh, God has allowed us to spend time together and no longer be separated. To everybody else, go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left, guys. Go make the most of it. Me, I'm going to see my kid and watch him drive. God help us. I hope he drives safely. Um, and uh, let's see. No, that's it. You're going to see some cool things, man. Get ready to go join Facebook, our new group, uh, Discount FPV. You're going to start getting some discounts on things like this, on air units and everything. But you got to be a member of Discount FPV. So go, just go, go, go join, okay? All right, we'll talk to you later, guys. Peace.